Dear students, today we are going to discuss about uh, a stable multivibrator using op-amp simulation. Uh, for that we need op-amp that is UA741 a pamble mm, type in the place a part here you can select the place a part from from here so you can type the name as us741 here us741 evil but it is not there us741 a pam a pam double click there see this is not the part just escape so double click on this one and click so that component will be appearing at your mm, cursor so click here and then escape uh, then you need two resistors and one capacitor for the um, a stable multivibrator connection so two resistors type in the place a part session you have to type R from the keyboard R so select double click on R uh, analog and you need two resistors one at this point that is this is 10k and one at this point 10k two resistors and then click escape next you want another capacitor so you have to type a c at this place a part so double click on this c analog and you can place the capacitor here okay so then you have to click escape uh, see you need three resistors so you again type r mm, so you will get r bar analog double click that and you need another resistor okay then escape and uh, next you have to make the connection you want dc source see you can just click here and drag it like this see this is the connection uh, and you need to rotate these two resistors so click here and type r from the keyboard so that it will rotate click here and rotate r okay so you can drag it like this okay next you want vdc so type in, in the place a part vdc um, vdc source double click that and you can place it at the seventh pin and you also need to rotate uh, also you need another uh, dc source at the fourth pin okay uh, then you can press escape you you know at the seventh pin you need a positive connection so that just click mm, and rotate r so that a positive will be appearing to seven and here also you need a negative connection at the fourth pin so just click on that component and rotate r so that it will be perfect and next you need a ground connection just click here place ground and you have to select a zero bar capsim and uh, this symbol will be appearing like this then click ok and you need ground connection at this point and also another ground connection um, uh, at this point and another ground connection is needed at this capacitor terminal ok uh, so this is at the ground, ground connection then escape next you can wire the circuit see here is the place a wire uh, type uh, click at to this place a wire or either you can type w and you can draw the wire connection from this point to this point and from this node to this node um, and also you need wire connection from this fourth pin to this voltage source and from this zero vdc to uh, this ground and you need connection from this seventh pin to this vdc and again you need a connection from this point to this so click a node and drag it to the other node and uh, next what is the connection here r1 and r2 should be connected in series and you can uh, draw the wire so click at this node and uh, uh, connect these two nodes uh, and then you have to press escape and again uh, you have to Hmm, click uh, place a wire either you can type w from the keyboard so that a wire will be appearing like this and uh, here um, is the connection and you have to stop the connection wire here so just uh, right click uh, here and end wire and here you need a connection from this sixth um, pin to this wire and uh, here is the output taken wire so you can end the wire here okay right click and end wire next you need a connection um, from you, you know here is a mistake i have to make uh, make the connection uh, connection uh, from the c1 to the second pin so just delete this wire click that wire and delete um, and you have to make a connection so click on this c and you have to make a connection at uh, second pin so um, so you just uh, click w from the keyboard uh, and you have to draw wire from this uh, node and drag to the second pin okay Mm, next what is the connection from the second pin mm, you need a connection uh, to this r3 so uh, from here we can draw a connect, uh, wire like this <coughs> and from this r3 uh, we can draw a wire from this point to this output okay so now the connection is uh, um, now the connection uh, going to this third pin from this third pin to the middle of this 
you can just end this wire in order to make the perfect connection and from the middle of the point to this resistor and also this resistor we need a ground here so just uh, escape and then just take a ground from place ground and you have to select a zero capsule and you can place the ground here and in next escape you have to draw again draw the wire from here and you can uh, draw the wire like this okay now uh, press escape and now the connection is um, complete and you have to type the values here uh, it is 0.1 um, microfarad so type a point u point 0.1 point 0.1 u and ok so that is the value of capacitor and next you have to give the value double click on this 1k and uh, type um, type 10k that is 10 kilo ohm then ok and here also double click on this value and uh, type 10k um, and then ok and here uh, also instead of uh, R3 it is 4.7k double click the on this um, 1k and uh, type 4.7k that is 4.7 kilo ohm ok and next we want to type the values for this voltage source that is 15 volt DAC 15 volt no need to type a volt ok here no need to type a negative because so already negative is connecting to this fourth one here also we need sorry we can go to this page one mm, he need to uh, type a 15 ok so all the voltage values will be given uh, you should take a care that uh, no need to uh, you you need not um, uh, re um, retype the value of v1 you have to change the values of 0 vdc or um, 0 vdc no need to change the values for v1 and v2 ok so now the uh, connection is complete next you can um, go to the simulation that is p spicy new simulation profile you can type the name as a stable a stable no need to make any is, um, if I am typing it as a stable multi vibrator no need to leave space between these words okay then create so next in the edit the simulation profile I have to uh, type the values this is uh, let me uh, type 30 millisecond and here I am taking it is 28 mm, millisecond and here it is mm, uh, 10 u okay whatever it is 10 u okay Mm, uh, so uh, next uh, oh, apply ok mm. Mm -hmm. and then I have to place a node here at the output side I have to make a node and then escape I can name the uh, output as V output for, for that to go to the net place net alias click there and mm, a stable a stable I am typing it as a stable output o u t output a stable output ok so then ok and uh, I have to then drag and click at this wire point okay and then escape next i can simulate this uh, this circuit so press run mm, and let me see the output waveform so i i have obtained the square wave output uh, at this point next i want to see the um, capacitor output uh, for that i have to place a node voltage node at this capacitor terminal that is i am placing the node at here okay uh, so uh, then escape and just V that is output is uh, I, I am not giving any name so this is the output just to run this simulation so I will get the capacitor output so this is the capacitor output ok uh, so that's all about this uh, a stable multi vibrator if you want to um, uh, see the um, plots in different plot then you can go to see um, just uh, go to uh, this plot uh, uh, add plot to window click on this window and uh, then trace um, add trace uh, we want to see the uh, square wave output at th this point then you have to click the, you know that this is v a stable output click here and okay so that a stable output will be appearing here and you have to next see the capacitor output at this window then you have to um, what you have to you have to click this and uh, um, you have to um, uh, delete what um, this V a stable output so just uh, right click and uh, delete delete plot and uh, so uh, only square wave will be appearing in order to see the um, capacitor output you have to again plot add plot to window and click on this plot to window and uh, trace add trace what is the capacitor output V uh, V only V V of V you can search that uh, name that is V of V just to search it here you need to remember the uh, name of that capacitor voltage then only you can uh, play uh, you can uh, see it here mm. let us see what is its value v of v uh, you can just search it. 